Hey guys, Jason the X for SNS Live, powered by Sillings, with the last of our Series 4 McFarlane Toys Walking Dead figures. I said that totally wrong. McFarlane Toys Walking Dead Series 4 figures. And we're finishing off with Rick Grimes here. This guy is an exclusive. I believe he's only available through Walgreens. Uh, it's, it's mostly just a repaint of the original one. If you missed out on this guy, you can get him now. And if you missed out on Daryl, you can get him in a two-pack with Merle. But, uh... Let's move right along with this review. Knock these out. So of course, you got Rick Grimes looking scary as hell right there. This look of kind of fear, and I'm going to kill you. I, I, my favorite character on the show. It's a Rick Tatorship! <laughs> I couldn't help it. I'm sorry. And of course, uh, if you saw the look at the other reviews, this is uh, what you're getting here. So, yeah. Now, I, I said that those other McFarlane Toys figures had a lot of articulation, whereas this guy didn't. And it was one reason I passed him up beforehand when he was offered the first time, just because he doesn't have a lot of articulation. Uh, he's got some, but the bottom half is pretty much, you've got some in the ankles here. I, but I do love the paint jobs on these guys. Look at the boots. You've got different weathering on both sides. I dig that a lot. You can't get much out of the ankles just because of the way the uh, pants are. And these have no articulation whatsoever in here. There's at the uh, hip, there's a V cut kind of at the hip, but that's about it. He does have a lot of nice detail. I'm just kind of going through the articulation while I kind of show it off to you. He's got just this blood spray over here. There's not much on the back, but there's a lot on the front. Uh, he does have a... Uh, waist articulation got his nice uh, piece on the side here Rick's great three well, that's 44 sorry anyway yeah you got some nice weathering on the shirt blood splatter you got a ratchet joint at the shoulder you got a twist at the elbow of course a bend and you got that double peg system where the pegs on both sides of the ball joint which helps with him uh, holding his weapons. You actually get him kind of holding the uh, the hunting rifle here. I was going to cheat and not do it, but I'm going to go ahead and get that in there. So there. And you can't get him like get it up to his eye or anything, but you can kind of get him two hand in it, which is pretty cool. And the head's on a nice ball joint. Get some emotion. Oh, oh. What's that? What is that? What's that? Anyway. And he does have interchangeable hands, is the other thing. Uh, take that off. And here's a look at the rifle. I just I, I just leave this hand on there because it's perfect for holding the rifle. And he can't really hold his uh, other gun with that. But he does come with a, a separate left hand here that's actually got a trigger. And this open palm hand, which I don't really use it because it doesn't really do anything for me. I will say he does have his wedding band on his uh, ring finger. And you can kind of see it. It's molded in there and it's got a little bit of coloration. Actually, it doesn't look like it's really... Unless it's really faded. Because he does have it on this hand too and you can see it's more of a silver band there. Stop focusing on the wrong thing, camera. There we go. So yeah, with this hand though, you can fit his nice uh, revolver in there. And the, the plastic on the hand is, is flexible enough where you can kind of move it around a little bit. I should probably be doing that on camera so you can see what I'm doing here. But the thing is, the trigger is too far forward to really get it in the uh, trigger guard. Get his finger in the trigger guard, so you just plug that right on there. You can kind of position his finger so it's not in the trigger guard. Maybe he's maybe he's not ready to kill just yet, or you can cheat and put it behind there. Regardless, that is the hand you want him to uh, hold that with. I don't know. I kind of I'm really wanting to get that in there. I might actually do some do a little bit of modification. And also, he comes with this uh, uh, zombie stick. What's the official name of this thing? Trap. It just says a weapon. It's not really a weapon. It's, you know, grab a zombie by the head, 
by the neck and drag him where you want to take him. So he does come with that. See, you can fit that in both of his hands. But yeah, uh, if if you're a completionist and you missed out on this guy the first time, here's a perfect opportunity to pick him up. I'm gonna go ahead and bring in Carl, and Carl knocks his dad down. There you go, father and son. Uh, the hat does not fit on Rick's head though. I tried. It's just like it looks like, yeah. So, yeah, you can't do that. Believe me, I tried. I know someone was going to ask if the hat could fit on there, so I figured I would just do it there. So, right there, you got father and son falling over. You stay on your damn... Uh, sorry. Anyway. There we go. For a guy with static legs, <laughs> he has a hard time standing sometimes. Anyway, that was our last look at these Walking Dead Series 4 figures. I might get the zombies a little bit later. I don't know if I'll review them or not. But, yeah, this is pretty cool. You got Rick Grimes... You got a son. If you like Walking Dead and you're a fan of the show, maybe want a little bit of memorabilia, I'd go ahead and recommend these guys. They're pretty awesome. Well, until next time, guys, I'm Jason the X for SCNS Live powered by Cinelinks.com, and I will catch you later.